Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts New Cross Nation, and today we're going over the new PvP update that we got for the game. But before we go into any specifics about the whole thing, uh, let's go over the entire leak that they decided to release. Let's challenge the battle against unknown enemies, and it shows a picture of a guy talking to another guy, and you know, this with the same point system, basically like a similar picture to what I had in my last PvP update. And underneath that, it says PvP mode is a mode in which you can compete against opponent players with multiple keyblades. HP is infinite, competing against each other for damage. Scroll down. The rankings are held during the period from the first to the end of the month, and the keyblade that can't be used during the period is fixed. I mean, that can be used, my bad. During the period is fixed. Uh, three keyblades are used. One keyblade is used for a total of one turn, using each one alternately. The player who gives more damage per turn is the winner, winning two out of three turns. And they, ha and they have some like little sub notes underneath saying, Initially the attack begins with the first strike and the opponent goes first in the next turn. So the first and the second attack will be swapped every turn. Buff and debuffs that continue for multiple turns will be taken over to the next turn. And then they show another picture showing kind of what we expected anyways, which is a customize your own powerful deck. Shows a picture of like multiple keyblades. Um, in the keyblade preparation screen in PvP mode, you can edit the order of the keyblades to be used and the deck of each keyblade. Underneath this they have, un unlike traditional deck organization, one metal cannot be set on multiple decks. That's key. The order of keyblades and where to set powerful metals is the key to capture. Alright, so just from this alone, we have quite a significant amount of information that we have to process, okay? The first one being kind of what we expected, which is that uh, the way you win is whoever ends up being able to do more damage to each other. HP is infinite, which makes sense, kind of what I expected. Because, uh, like, realistically, we only have around, like, 6,000 HP at most, like, more or less. We can easily do that much with just, like, one metal. Heck, Kyrie and Shioni X can probably very easily do more than that <laughs> just by themselves. That makes complete sense to have uh, infinite HP for this mode. There's a few, like, key things, though, that, like, stand out about this new mode. The first one being, you're using up to three Keyblades. They are pre-selected every month and the mode lasts for the entire month, kind of like Colosseum. As well as that you can't use the same metal more than once uh, throughout all three of your set, all three of your setups. Okay. That changes things a little bit. I know in my last PvP update video, I gave my thoughts about what to expect and whatnot, and like whether or not turtle strategies are gonna be good and whatnot, and like I had my own little triangle. I still believe they can still work, it's just gonna be slightly different from how I imagined it. Overall, I like how this is going, solely because of the fact that it, it definitely balances the game, at least for this mode, quite a lot. It's not gonna be as easy to just run your most busted setup every single turn. I know a lot of people have been fusing their old medals with good skills into new medals to like pervert, preserve the skill. That's going to end up hurting you this time around because now you might actually need to use the old medals in order to make sure you can have legitimate Keyblade setups too. The fact that your stats, if they last for multiple turns, can carry over into the next turn is actually really good. Uh, and can actually really low key help us out a lot, especially when it comes to like using turtle setups and whatnot. Because to be honest, most turtle medals, uh, or most decent turtle medals for the strategy, already last for like two, three turns, anyways. So being able to uh, apply that into other turns can be really good. In terms of strategy, there, there's one main thing that I'm curious about that I need to find out more about how exactly is it going to be working. Uh, before I can make any like type of specific strategies or comments about it and that is exactly is uh what determines who gets to go first on the first turn because of the fact that they mentioned here that you're going to be taking turns going first in the battle uh, knowing how the attacking order is going to happen is going to be absolutely huge for a majority of people's strategies so like for example, if you're using a turtle strategy, you typically want to go first because you want to have your defenses up first. The whole point of a turtle strategy is to reduce the amount of damage dealt to you as much as possible while also trying to like do a, a little bit of damage to them. Okay, and slowly whittle them away basically. However, normally in other game modes, uh, we always get to go first before the enemy Heartless, okay? So that, that, that ends up being completely fine. 
but in PvP it may end up being completely different. Uh, if you don't get to go first and you have a turtle strategy in your first setup, you could potentially be end up just like throwing that entire round because of the fact that, well, if the opponent gets to go first and you're using a turtle setup for the first turn, the opponent's just going to demolish you. And then you're using, and then you're buffing up your defense, which isn't like, which isn't gonna do much, and you're, and you're only doing like very little damage compared to what they do. Granted, your defensive buffs will most likely carry over into the next turn, so it's not a complete waste. And if you can use any type of a uh, status ailment skill, such as like sleep, poison, or paralysis on the first turn, you can make your opponent waste their Asuna skill, so that way you can try using them again on later turns to make them like skip their turns basically it's these type of situations about knowing how the attacking order is going to work before you even jump into the battle that is going to be able to help drive and determine a lot of people's strategies because uh, think about it like this they already declared that in this game mode you can literally challenge anybody so if you really wanted to the 9,000th uh, ranked player can challenge the number one player if they really wanted to so because of the fact that you can just fight anybody at any given time uh, it, beg it comes into question well how exactly is the first attacker gonna be de determined like let's say for example they go by an attacker initiative based system where whoever is the attacker gets initiative and they get to attack first turn one okay if that's the case uh, then yeah, using a turtle strategy as an attacker can be great, okay, because it means you get those buffs and stuff that I mentioned. However, if it's a, uh, the defender has initiative type of system instead, that means that running a turtle strategy the first turn, uh, may not be the greatest as the attacker. And you might want to end up using a turtle strategy on the second turn instead. Just like I stated in my last video, uh, dispel type effects that can get rid of your opponent's uh, buffs such as like defensive buffs uh, and whatnot will be absolutely like so good in this mode because you know people are gonna be trying to run turtle strategies uh, at least in at least one of their keyblades depending on the keyblades that are being used and whatnot heck I'm gonna be one of those people <laughs> and I know I know a lot of people haven't been like oh yeah no status element effects are gonna be great blah blah, blah are not gonna be great blah 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 they have a Suna uh, turtle strategies are not gonna be good because you could just debuff them blah 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 you guys aren't wrong necessarily but at the same time i think you guys aren't taking into consideration the full aspect of the mode but like with asuna okay that only lasts for uh one turn all right with our current pet skills anyways so the strategy for pvp would be you would have at least two keyblades that maybe even all three <laughs> that have medals at the very beginning of the setup that have a status ailment effect on them or at least in the setup uh, that have a status ailment on, on them, okay? Uh, so you, let's say like turn one you inflict poison on them uh, Then when it goes to their turn uh, their sin of skill gets rid of it And then on turn and then your next turn or the next time you attack them um, You just afflict like sleep on them or paralysis on them and then like they can't cure that anymore So what ha ends up happening is uh, the sleep will make them skip all their main buffer and debuffer middles Such as like the stained glass and or Kyrie and Shioni X that always get put in the front of the keyblade Okay, so sleep and paralysis are gonna be absolutely devastating for this mode when they're able to get triggered properly Man in black can actually be really good in this mode too And I mentioned this in the last video too uh, Because of the fact that I believe he's the only metal in the game that can actually dispel yourself too uh, and if your case you're wondering like well why would I want to do that uh, that would be solely for the reason of you would use him for like a turtle you would use him like in a turtle setup you would put a status element skill on him and then uh, just in case the opponent tries debuffing uh, your strength your general strength or even just your general defense uh, over multiple turns such as with like Vexen plus or HD Zexian whatnot because they do last for multiple turns man in black can be super useful because like you can just help get rid of all those debuffs that are on you and then just have your normal buffs from there on if any of you guys were in my stream last time I went into super detail about this okay I'm probably missing quite a few things but uh, yeah, no, I'm 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 heavily looking into this whole this whole update. Um, something I do want to mention though, because of the fact that the Keyblades are going to be predetermined every single month, uh, that also provides a certain uh, danger to turtle setups. 
uh, or strategies solely because of the fact that um, like pretty much most of the main turtle medals for turtle strategies right now um the decent ones i should add are mostly magic based right now the only non-magic based turtle medal uh that's actually really good is vexen plus and vexen plus is a uh, power reversed uh metal instead otherwise the other main uh meat and potatoes like type metals for turtle setups are decent are going to be metals like hpo uh chicken little uh and hd zexion so for those months that end up having let's say let's say they end up deciding to go a pure speed month where we have we have sleeping lion missing ache and lady luck all in one month months like those are going to be absolutely like cringy to fight in because of the fact that like right now speed is one of the worst attributes in the game as well as because of the fact that well there's there's really no decent speed based turtle medals in the game as of right now so after realizing this i really hope that senna decides to go in a direction where they can start releasing more uh turtle based strategy medals uh that are not just that are not just focused in like the magic section um, I like even though they're kind of branching out into the power a little bit It'll be nice that they bring in some more speed ones too. at least one or two speed ones would be nice So last thing before I leave off on this video is uh because of the fact that we are using three separate keyblades And I mentioned this before I mean that means we can't use metals like Kairi Shioni X every single turn uh, Which means that we're gonna need at least one or two decent buffer and debuffer metals for our third keyblade Or if you only have one Kairi Shoni X for example, maybe for two of your keyblades And this is where the new stained glass metals are gonna be really important uh, And are gonna come into play quite heavily if you can get your hands on them So if you're looking to do PvP mode I strongly recommend trying to get some of those because those are gonna be by far some of the best metals that you're gonna have for PvP other than that, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. Uh, feel free to let me know your thoughts about the whole PvP mode. Are you excited? Are you not? Uh, what do you think you're going to be running? Would you want to come and fight me in one of my streams? Let me know in the comments section below. But other than that, uh, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.